I actually have a question that I was going to ask that actually comes off of that. I, I wanted to take a moment to quote Stuart Hall, a multicultural scholar who passed away last week. Um, and I was looking for some quotes because I thought it would be applicable for a little academia in there. And I found his definition of inferential racism as opposed to overt racism. And he says inferential racism is the naturalized representations of events and situations relating to race with racist premises or propositions as unquestioned assumptions. My question from that quote was, what are some of the unquestioned assumptions in industry? Um, well, one Not necessarily of, around race. But. No, one of the most insidious ones, I understand what you're getting at, and I've always thought this one, was that black writers weren't as good as white writers. And this happened in the agencies and at the networks. You know, it's just something that people kind of felt. And um, I always, you know, hated that kind of assumption. It wasn't always said, but you knew it was kind of there. And also, by extension, black shows weren't considered as high quality as what were called white shows. And so I've always, like, even with the Burning Mac show, I was proud of the fact that we want a Peabody with that show, you know, and things like that. Because me and my, some of my friends are the black writers. We had actually talked about this. You know, and about that, you know, I remember a friend of mine, she said, Larry, how come there's no black science? I said, Janine, because you haven't written it yet. Just go write it <laughs> so people can talk about that. You know? um, so I would say that, you know, from a comic point of view, I did a piece on The Daily Show. I think we were talking about the Trayvon Martin thing, which, of course, isn't funny. But my, in finding what I felt was an appropriate piece to find humor out of, I said, uh, I don't think... Uh, them giving, what was his name, Zimmerman? Oh, I said, I don't think them giving Zimmerman the benefit of the doubt is racist. I think the benefit of the doubt is racist. <laughs> you know, it's the benefit of the doubt that is racist. You know? And in some cases, that is true. The fact that he would get the benefit of the doubt means that the benefit of the doubt is racist. You know? Why does he get the benefit of that? You know? So sometimes I'll find it in that sort of thing. But um, does that make sense? Yeah. Right. OK, great. Absolutely.